Hey, how's it going today? We're gonna go over how to draw an imposter from Among Us. Uh, it's gonna be step-by-step -step easy for beginners. Uh, he's gonna be wearing a slug hat, right? A brain slug, whatever. So let's get started. First thing I do is draw a diagonal line here. I'm drawing a lot of imposters lately, if you've been keeping up uh, with different hats. I wanna do that. I'm probably gonna make it its own playlist, I think, just for the imposter curve over here for the front. Curve back here, and then curve forward. And you have kind of this block shape, right? Like this pillow shape. <clears throat> Pulling down for the front of the mouth. Pulling up over here for the top of the head. So that's like its forehead. Curved line back into the, the back of the head right there. Curve line in. There's, so, uh, you know, like I said, um, the imposter basically opens up like a Muppet, you know? That's essentially what's going on. It's like, it opens up. Like, think of a crewmate, and boom, it just opens up. And, you know, like that movie, The Thing. So there's going to be a fold back here. And I'm gonna pull a line down here. For the foot. Curve line here for the bottom of that foot. But before we do that, okay. Also, don't forget to pause and rewind as you need to. And <coughs> don't forget if the stuff I do here is worth your time. You know, I'm gonna be putting up beginner lessons three times every single weekday. Um, if that stuff is worth your time, please hit the subscribe button and click that bell notification. Um, sort of like actually tell you when I post. Pulling down here. With a big open mouth. And then I'm going to curve out here for that big open mouth. Pulling down for the other foot. Curve here, curve up for one foot, curve in, curve up for this foot, triangle here, triangle here. Triangle here, so three triangles for the teeth. And then you can draw two or three here in the bottom as well. You could you could you could do with two, you could do with four. It's kind of up to you. You can always change uh, you know the imposter around. It's kind of you know, you, you know you can always move stuff around. Now I'm gonna go here for the backpack, pull down, pull in. And then that backpack is going to squish as well as it opens up. I'm going to pull out over here, down. Oops. Alrighty. And then the last, well, not the last thing, but we draw a triangle, huge, long triangular shape for his tongue. Alrighty. <coughs> and now let's draw the brain slug on him. So I'm going to draw the bottom of it right here around. Give me another wiggly line here. Line out here for kind of three wiggly lines that he's sitting on. Draw a circle. Straight line here. dot for the eye and right here he's gonna have like a little uh, antenna sticking out kind of up forward and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of thicken the lines everywhere um, you know you're pretty much done if you're doing this in pencil but if you do this in marker I, I highly recommend kind of thickening out the lines um, because the animation is pretty um, has pretty thick lines I noticed in the game so I'm going to do that now. Well, um, while I'm doing this, I'll talk to you. Um, 
if you're pretty hardcore on drawing right now, like you're generally learning how to draw, um, go check out my hour long lessons. They're over in, um, <clears throat> they're over in Skillshare. Um, there's a link below. That's kind of like where I teach stuff like how to draw anime, how to draw, um, what else do I teach? How to draw perspective, how to draw like um, facial features, uh, all that good stuff is on there. Uh, Skillshare is really cool because it's more about quality based, you know? So like on YouTube, some of the bigger drawing channels have turned into entertainment channels uh, and they're not really about the learning anymore. Um, but on here, if you put like a entertainment course or something like that, they will delete it. They'll be like, nope, we want learning, high quality learning too. So that's what I love about Skillshare. So right now, um, you can get uh, Skillshare for free for two months. Uh, the idea is that you, um, <coughs> sorry about that, I'm still a little sick. Um, the idea is if you sign up, you get two free months and you can view everything there for, you know, for a while, for two months, everything. So you can see every program I have, you can just kind of binge it, um, learn what you need to learn and then, um, you know, move on. But, you know, I definitely, I highly recommend it. Um, you know, it is, it is like amazing. I've learned so much on there, just being on there. Uh, and like I said, right now, if you click the link, it's free. Uh, I mean, you can sign up for free for two months. Um, let me kind of thicken out the bottom of him here. Thicken out the lines here. Also, if you just like what I do here, um, hit the share button. It's on, it's below there. You can share it on any platform, pretty much Facebook, Twitter. Um, I'm thinking about opening up a Facebook, um, unless somebody has a better idea. I want to open up a Facebook where people post the drawings they, they drew from here. Um, I would love to do that. So I'm, I'm probably going to do that pretty soon and I will kind of frequently make, uh, announcements to it and I'll put, but I, I, I mean, I am waiting for like an alternative because a lot of people don't use Facebook as much anymore. Um, what's an alternative to that? Is there an alternative? Discord? I don't want to use Discord. I don't know. You know, just for drawing? I don't know. I mean, does anybody have an alternative for for where they could post drawings? Um, maybe a Reddit forum or something? I don't know. Like, would people use that more than the Facebook? I feel like people have, like, a remaining Facebook somewhere. Um, it's just so easy on Facebook. So, I don't know. Let me know your ideas for that. Um, I'll probably announce that at the end of the week over the weekend, uh, what I decide to do, but thank you so much. You've been amazing. Uh, please say hi to me in the comments. If you got this far, that means you made it to the entire lesson. Um, and that is it. I'll talk to you next time and, uh, we'll hang out <laughs> on here. See you later. It's easy pictures to draw.